find the probabilities for normal distribution. In this example, a survey indicates that for each trip to supermarket, a shopper spends an average of 45 minutes with standard deviation of 12 minutes. The length of time spent in the store are normally distributed and are represented by variable X. A shopper, a random shopper enters the store. Find the probability that the shopper will be in the store for each interval of time and interpret the answer when 200 shoppers enter the store. How many shoppers would you expect to be in the store for each interval of time listed below? So first, I'm gonna find the probability that the random shopper spends between 24 minutes to 54 minutes in the store. And then what is the probability that the random shopper spends more than 39 minutes in the store? So first of all, take a look at the information and the graph associated to one between 24 and 54 you're looking at this little interval here 24 and 54 and again below the curve you're going to shade this region mean is 45 that's how you see the balancing point with standard deviation which is 12 minutes you can either use your calculator to find a probability for x or you can use your z-scores. To use your z-score, the z-score for the first x value is 24 minus the mean divided by standard deviation, which is negative 1.75, and z2 is x, which is 54, minus the mean divided by sigma, which is 0.75. So let us use our calculator and show you how to do the computation here. In using your calculator, if you are dealing with Z, you're gonna enter Z, but make sure you enter correct information, second bars, and find normal CDF. The lower bound is negative 1.75, so negative 1.75. 75. Upper bound is 0.75, so 0.75. Mean for z is 0, standard deviation for z is 1. So if you hit enter twice, you get 73.33%. However, if you decide to use x, it doesn't matter you get the exact same probability. Second, VARS, go to normal CDF. The lower bound is going to be your minimum X value, which is 24. So type 24. And upper bound is 54. Maximum minutes is 54. Then mu based off of the information is 45 and the standard deviation as you can see is 12 and then hit enter you get the exact same probability everybody it doesn't matter if you use z or if you use x if you use z make sure you enter mu zero and standard deviation one and you need to convert your x values into z but if you decide to use x values you're going to use the exact same information as is given in the question to you. So take a look. The probability that X is bounded between 24 minutes and 54 minutes is the same as probability that Z is bounded between negative 1.75 and 0.75. Both of them are equal to 73.33%. This is the area below the curve bounded between these two numbers. The interpretation is when 200 shoppers enter the store, you expect 200 people times the probability, which is 0.7333 or 100 
46.66 shoppers. But since we are dealing with people, human beings, round it up to be in the same store between 24 and 54 minutes. Now let us calculate more than 39 minutes. For more than 39 minutes, you are looking at the shaded area on the right-hand side. 39 minutes is here and go up to the right-hand side. Again, you are allowed to use X or Z. If you decide to use Z, you need to follow the formula X minus the mean divided by standard deviation is negative 0.5. So if you decide to use your calculator, calculator just right here. Second, VARS, normal CDF, the lower bound. Guys, take a look at your graph. The lower bound is just right here. If you decide to use Z, Z is negative 0.5, so negative 0.5. On the right-hand side, it goes up to what? To a positive number, like 10, like 100, but since you're dealing with Z, you can use 10, 100, whichever you feel more comfortable working with. The mean for Z is zero, the standard deviation for Z is fixed, so if you do the calculation, you get this probability. The probability that a random shopper spend more than 39 minutes in the store for this shaded area is 0.6915. Here you have a six, so you need to add one unit to four. Again, if you decide to use X, go to second bars, normal CDF, the lower bound, is going to be 39 minutes. So enter 39. And again, here, the upper bound can be as 100 or a larger number. It doesn't matter. No one's stopping us. You can use 100 or 1,000. Mean. Well, what is the mean? The average is 45 minutes. So we're going to change this to 45. Standard deviation is 12 minutes, so 12, and then go to the paste. Hit paste twice, and as you can see, you get the exact same probability, 0 0.6914, and the 6, you're going to add one unit here, you get 0 0.6915. So the probability that a random shopper spend more than 39 minutes in the store, or the probability that X is more than 39 minutes, or the probability that Z is more than negative 0.5 is 0.6915, or 69.15%. This is just this area. Now, if you consider 200 shoppers enter the store, we expect to have 100 38 or about 139 shoppers in the store and they spend more than 39 minutes in the store.